today we have a special on fathers and newborn babies. In this special, we're going to go over scenarios in your everyday life as a father and your newborn baby. We're going to be showing you what fathers do with their newborn babies, how to teach them things, how to prevent them from doing things, how to save them from dangerous things. Because we don't have a real baby, we're going to be using this lifelike doll to demonstrate scenarios in your everyday life on how to handle a newborn baby. Of course, with every scenario, your newborn baby, you're always going to have to be attentive to the physical health and the emotion levels of your newborn baby. To achieve this, we must first look into the baby's eyes. But of course, if your newborn baby is born eyeless, this can be quite disturbing to try to look into its eyes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make eyes on our newborn baby doll. We'll pretend that you have blue eyes, newborn baby. And thick, luscious eyebrows. As we know, there's no safe way to transport a newborn baby in a vehicle without the properly required restraining seats. So I'm going to demonstrate the alternative to safely bring newborn baby from point A to point B without that safety. All you need for this ability to bring safety to your newborn baby is a skateboard of any sort and some sort of tying equipment devices. Because this is a consistent practice and I, I always want to make sure my baby is in the safest place possible, I already have a pre-prepared piece of string that I just leave on my car. Because of the importance of this child, I want to make sure I tie up the vital areas first. So obviously the head is very important to protect in any sort of transportation situation. So that's where I'm going to start to tie up newborn baby, is make sure that the head is very well fastened to the car so that it, it can never get lost behind it. nice and secure. And then what we're going to do from there is actually make sure that we have all the limbs as well restrained inside what is going to be transporting newborn baby so that nothing can get left behind. There. What a precious bundle. Now that we have newborn baby all secure, we're ready to go for a draft. Back up. Uh, skateboard's optional. Yep. Keep coming. Bye-bye, <laughs> baby. Like any good father, I want my newborn baby to be very, very safe. But let's be honest, some parents are just too overprotective. Don't stick the fork in the socket. Don't drink battery acid. You know, don't run with scissors. I think it's time to loosen up a little bit as parents. So today we're gonna talk about how we can help newborn baby jump off the roof safely. As you can see here, the best way you can do it is just to let them hug a pillow. You can see that this pillow actually says love. So this is a very loving act that we're about to do. It's gonna be great. As you can see, newborn baby is quite secure with this love pillow. I just encourage the newborn, hug it like it's mommy. As you can see, newborn baby is where he should be, on top of the roof. I find the best way to get him to jump is just the louder you yell, the more they'll feel afraid and they'll jump off the roof. So come on newborn baby, jump to daddy. Jump to daddy on the count of three. Jump, newborn baby! One, two, three! <laughs> Success! Howdy, folks. You may be wondering, how do you get your baby to go on the toilet? Two methods. One, a little help from these guys. Mmm, laxative. So, we just start here and just crush up a bit of the laxative. You know, a good crushing technique. 
Get the baby bottle. Just hold on there, little guy. Put that in. Mmm. Mmm. Milky laxative. Here, newborn baby. Have some of this yummy juice. Mm. Yum. Yum. Oh, that's a yummy milk laxative stash. Here, let me get that for you. Well, since our baby has got something a brewing inside with those poozies and that laxative, part two of this comes into play. Literally scare the crap out of your baby. Just to make sure that your baby doesn't get too scared, just some saran wrap to protect it from falling into its imperilous doom. To ensure that your baby has maximum scared poopiness, you must tell them a scary story and leave them wondering what is going to come through that door next. Just remember, little moon, newborn baby, the boogeyman will be coming through that door any minute now. Bye! Bye, beware! What's that newborn baby? The boogeyman came? Oh, that's okay. Look! You did a poo in the toilet! Yay! And just to let you know, if this method does not work, which in some cases it doesn't, there are also some alternatives, like extreme heights, which I always like to say, the longer the drop, the better the plop. And also, there are some other risky alternatives. As a father, most will want to teach their babies, or really their 12-year-old, 13-year-olds, how to shave. Since this newborn baby is my child, we have different genes. This newborn baby is six days old, so that's when it's going to start to grow a whole lot of hair everywhere in its body. So here's the hair, but soon, in another 24 hours, you're going to have lots of little hairs growing here. I'm going to teach you, newborn baby, how to deal with those hairs. Like I mentioned earlier, most kids will be taught this when they're about 14, some maybe even 30, but for this child, we're going to teach you early, so you're going to need some heavy duty items. Most people just use a normal razor, we're going to use a knife. This is the knife that we're going to use. To get this process started, we're going to take some shaving cream and put it all over newborn baby's face. I'm going to rub it into your hands first. Once you have the shaving cream, you want to take the knife. And so, you'll start with an upward motion. Look at that shaving so perfectly right down to the bare skin now newborn baby sometimes you have these crazy nose hairs that pop out you're gonna to want to get the head trimmers and use those to get right in there <laughs> oh that was a little bit too close I guess so next week once you're two weeks old, then we'll get into the chainsaw. But for now, remember, use the knife. So what I'm going to show you right now is some do's and don'ts on how to baptize your baby, especially if you're not near a church. Now, if you're a good Christian like myself and my newborn baby, you're going to want to get your baby baptized as soon as possible. So I'm going to demonstrate a method called the dunk. If you're a good Christian, you're not going to want to just sprinkle your child, but we believe in full baptism, which means full submersion. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want your baby to hang upside down and baptized. Actually, we want to go feet first. And since it's a full submersion, you must be aware you have to do this quick. This is a newborn baby after all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you are baptized, newborn baby. Now another method of baptizing your newborn baby is having your baby resting 
under a host spigot. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I baptize you. And that is how you baptize your newborn baby. One of the most important aspects to teaching a newborn baby new skills is how to cross road. You have to be very careful with newborn baby and teach him slowly, as he may not get it first time. What you have to do is teach basic road rules, how to look left and how to look right before crossing the road. Now there's a number of methods that newborn baby can use to cross the road. One of them, the most expedient, is, hey Uncle Jaso, say hi Uncle Jaso. Newborn baby, you want to cross the road to Uncle Jaso? Uncle Jaso! A less exciting method of crossing the road for a newborn baby is to walk. The most important thing to getting newborn baby to walk safely is after looking left and right, ensure that newborn baby's face does not scrape on the road too much. As the newborn baby is Australian, he's quite resilient to road rash, but nonetheless, he can get it. To cross the road, newborn baby looks left and looks right and starts walking. As you can see, newborn baby has some minor injuries, but he's quite resilient. Success for newborn baby crossing the road. <laughs> oh, newborn baby. What a fun day we had today. We hope that you learned something today, all you new fathers, on how to teach your newborn baby, protect your newborn baby, and how to make a newborn born again. Ha, 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 ha.